Folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Today we're heading to northern Wisconsin to fish muskies. This is phenomenal. Massive Slavosaurus Big Butt Muscalungo. Hey guys, I got an 11 pounder. Look at that thing, man. Oh, oh no. Look at the tummy on that thing. That's a buddy. That's a toad. Yes, folks, we've had a lot of requests to do a muskie show in northern Wisconsin because we always go to Minnesota. So people want to see <laughs> people want to see a muskie show in Wisconsin. But Rob, before we uh, start with muskies, we want to do a walleye fish fry tonight. So uh, we're going to fish muskies a little bit later on today and tomorrow but the walleye fishing has been pretty good in late June huh? Yeah I know it's been real good I mean you know we've seen a pretty early uh, mayfly hatch on a lot of lakes and it's really gotten the fish going on night crawlers and you know we'll try some little plastics too that kind of emulate a night crawler but I, I think today we might have mostly a, a crawler bite but the fishing has been good and we'll catch some fish. Good because I want that fish Ryan you don't mind fishing walleyes for a few minutes do you? I like fishing walleyes and I like eating walleyes. Well, that's what we're having tonight, but we're going to catch muskies too, right? Yes, we are. Okay. We have muskies in Wisconsin. Uh, all right. Hey, folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. Be ready for 4th of July travels with a new set of tires from Mills Fleet Farm. Buy four select Michelin or Cooper tires, get up to $70 back in rewards. Stock up on your family's favorite snacks, Frito-Lay chips and dip, five for $10. Quench your thirst with nature's crystal bottled water, on sale too, five for $10. And have fun on the water in a Pelican Argo 100 kayak, $199.99 at Mills Fleet Farm. Hey folks, Yamaha and Mills Fleet Farm have teamed up to give away a brand new Kodiak 700. The Kodiak 700 is an awesome machine with an unbeatable mix of performance, workability, and real world value. Starting at only $69.99. Folks, there's three ways to enter. You can enter at any Mills Fleet Farm, you can enter online at GillespieFishing.com, or you can text to enter at 797979. Pete, I'll tell you what, a lot of my buddies have switched to Evinrude this year, including you. What do you think, man? Boy, so far so good, John. I mean, the power is unbelievable and better gas mileage besides the power and the lower emissions. So there's a lot going on and they're very, very confident in these motors. They have some awesome deals. Well, they're so confident right now that we're offering an eight year coverage, extended coverage on our Evinrudes. And folks, if you act before June 30th, you can get that eight years of coverage. And the cool thing is, Pete, I I know you sell your boat every year or two, so the guy that buys your boat, he'll have the what's ever left over the extended coverage. It is transferable, so literally if that boat sold every year, that coverage is still there for the next owner. Welcome back, folks. I got one going here, Rob. There we go, buddy. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a real big walleye, but folks, on a lot of the lakes up here, these are the ones you keep to eat. And like I said at the top of the program, we're after a fish fry. We'll get bigger ones than that. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. but that right there is a gorgeous eater, isn't it? Perfect. Oh, there we go, Robbie. Ooh, I... <laughs> There's a better uh, one, yeah, John. A little bit better. Get all and... wrapped up. What? <laughs> He's all twisted. There. there we go. There's a nice eater, folks, right there. And, uh, you know, I went to a half a crawler, folks, and, and Rob caught that first one, a full crawler. The half a crawler sometimes, Rob, and we're in the middle of a mayfly hatch is the way to go, right? Yeah, it is really weird how particular they can be, John. And, and when you do break the crawler, it seems like they really prefer the head over the tail a lot of times. I mean, it'll both work, but something about that little bit of brown is what they really like. <laughs> Ooh, right. Whoa, that's, that's big not perch, a walleye. John. Look at that. There you now, go. That is kind of a bonus there for our fish fry. Pete, look at that. That is a beauty. Yeah. Actually, those are going to taste awful good. And, uh, you know, that's a really good sized keeper. Hey, hey, Petey, Petey in the back of the boat. I had to switch to the night trawler. You guys were killing me. Well, I don't blame you. Here he comes. And here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know, Pete, oh, that's, whoa. <laughs> I guess that's the problem with sitting here. You might get a walleye in the face, right? <laughs> you know, you do a lot of walleye fishing, though, Pete. That size is delicious, isn't it? Well, it's perfect for eating, John. Yeah, absolutely. 
Well, we're, we're gonna musky fish, but uh, actually, you know, when one of those walleyes are reeling in, you couldn't get a musky too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, you got two out of a time back there. All right, I love it. Feel any good there, Robo? Yeah, this one's a little better. I can't quite, oh, Pete's got one a little bit bigger than this one. Whoa, that's a nice walleye. Those are two. Stand next to each other, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> two eaters. Congratulations. Hey, but it is interesting, you guys. I put a leech on just to see and I've had one bite so far, but not as many bites as the crawlers. It's kind of been that way the last few days, John. I mean, they really have a preference over the crawler and even sometimes just that half a crawler. I mean, that isn't, pull those this up This one together. actually bit a leech. Oh, oh it, it did. did, that was oh, on yeah. a leech? Cool. Folks, one of the things I love about fishing northern Wisconsin is they have this type of cabbage. And Rob, we talked about weeds before, but when you find this cabbage, do you fish right in it or do you look for the edge of this stuff? As season goes on here now, it will be a more defined edge bite. You know, uh, you know, we had we had high water temperatures last week. Now it's kind of dropped back down a little bit after we had a ton of rain. So it, it it's not uncommon to see those fish move right back into those thick weeds like that. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, look at this guy, folks. That's a, there's a nice walleye there. And that was on a leech, fellas. There you go. But one question, you know, Rob, for folks that uh, do this type of walleye fishing, you know, when you get that initial bite, um, how long do you let them go? I suppose it varies every day, but with the leech, I'm just basically putting my rod tip down for a second and setting the hook. On the whole crawler, though, it's longer, right? Yeah, you have to, because sometimes, John, if they do grab it on the fall, you know, they a lot of times will hit it in the head, but if, if it's just coming off of a weed, it's like they seem to tail grab it or mid-body grab it and carry it. And when you do see them running like that, I'm giving them, you know, five to 10 seconds. But generally, yes, on a leech, you can set the hook almost immediately. What are you doing there, Pete? Well, I got a fish. Nice uh, fish of go. some that sort. That actually on. looks like a nice one. Is it a heavier fish? Yeah, it's uh, it's either a big walleye or we have a northern pike or a muskie. Why don't you get excited? Well, I am excited. I'm Look, just chatting with you. Get more excited. <laughs> <laughs> animated? You that, want me no, animated? that's a big fish, man. That's a big fish. What do you need? It's a big fish. <laughs> do you need the frable? I yeah, I think I'll need a frable. Are you going to be able to frable me? I will. I I got. Rob will frable me. What is it, Rob? It's a pike. It's a pike, Pete. We wanted a walleye or a musky. Ooh. Rob's going to try and get him here. He's got the small frable. He's he's feeling accurate. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Hey, that's not a bad pike. No. That's a beautiful northern pike. It, northern isn't that, Pete? That yeah, is a real nice fish, buddy. That was on a leech? Yeah. Well, did you know that pike's preferred forage is leeches? No. No, but actually, oh, look at this. Look at the pretty coloring on that fish, too. Yeah. Right. Oh, they're nice. I think this is the one that followed me, and it literally followed in a weed. Oh, really? A little bit ago. Actually, that's a beauty. Hold them up yeah. one more time. Yeah, that's a, for on a spinning rod. That's a lot of fun. Hold them up one more time. <laughs> Can you, you got that? <laughs> oh, there you go, Petey. Hey, hold that one out. That, that's a nice fish. First, you know what's uh, really interesting, folks? Uh, Rob taught me this uh, a few years ago, fishing wood. And you look, you took that that fish right off that big old tree yeah. there, didn't you? Yeah. And did you? Do you do that in Hayward too? The, oh, the yeah. wood fishing? Yeah, there's not as many places where we got wood. But you got yeah, trees we there? Quite a bit. Oh, we got trees. <laughs> we got trees Hayward, there. Yeah. But yeah. no, seriously. You, Sometimes you, they fall in the water. It is a neat way to fish, though. And I never thought about that 10, 15 years ago. You know, do, getting into the. But it's got to be deep, right? Well, not necessarily. I mean, oh, really? Well, no. You can have you can have wood laying in the water. Um, if it's not a deep tree, you just got to have some wind pounding into it. You know, this one's exceptionally deep. And it's and it's fresh, so it has a lot of undercover. Okay, yeah, you know, I've, I've caught them at two feet in the wood. Have you really? Just flipping. Uh, but it is fun. I mean, you, you know, it's something that people should really learn. <laughs> Here we go, Gillespie. Oh, there. Now walk up to the camera with that wall. Walk. I mean, that, yeah, that's walk a yeah. There the you camera. go. Now we one more walleye, and we can go musky fishing. Didn't you just say that? I thought this was the walleye, and now we can go. Because he having, broke his jig off. Because I broke my jig off, and we're having fun. So <laughs> what, what, can we have catch one more walleye, then we're going musky you fishing? You can't 
change rules in the middle of the stream it, it's, or it, the lake. It's my this. recon. Oh, no, wait, it's your recon. It is my recon. <laughs> <laughs> We're going musky fishing. Pete said I can't walleye fish anymore. We got to go musky fishing. I agree with him. Even ask Reggie. <laughs> well, all right. We got We should use Reggie for bait. Hey, what hey, happened to Reggie? We got, we got our walleyes now, okay, for our fish fry tonight. So I relent. Let's go musky fishing. All right. Okay. Thank Two you. against Thank one. All right. Yep, let's go yeah, musky fishing. The rules. Hey, folks, remember to follow our fishing adventures on Facebook simply by going to facebook.com slash Gillespie Fishing. This week, we are giving away a three-month supply of Amsoil's Quick Shot. You can use this in your weed whacker, your ATV, or your truck. It'll keep all of your engines running smoothly. We were fishing the lakes of Vilas County, a four-hour drive from Milwaukee, five hours from Chicago, and three and a half hours from Minneapolis. Len Groom here from Amsoil, and we're talking about trailer maintenance today. Now, if you take a look at your trailer, it's always out in the adverse conditions, especially if you're out ice fishing or you're, you're towing your UTV or you're towing any of your equipment on the roads in the wintertime. Sometimes the salt can get to them, and even though some of these parts are galvanized, they can still rust once that galvanizing wears away. So what you want to do is you want to treat it with Amsoil's heavy-duty metal protector. What it does is it goes on and it coats the material, and then it dries and it sticks and it keeps those parts from rusting. So when you go to hook up your trailer, you're not dealing with rust, it's not stuck, and it's not a pain. For more information on our heavy-duty metal protector, check out amsoil.com. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass, too, and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish-attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you make less casts, because the fish come to you. Rip it or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Folks, when I head out to fish, I always stock up on my favorite Baitmate fish attractants. Bill, I just put that Baitmate on, man. Baitmate offers a complete line of fish attractants and convenient spray bottles for every angler and every species of fish. Improve your chances of catching fish with Baitmate fish attractants. It just makes sense. Hey folks, John Gillespie here. Don't forget to submit your entry to the Baitmate Fish Attractant Catch of the Week contest. Simply post your image or short video with your fish and Baitmate product used with hashtag Baitmate to be entered to win our weekly prizes. All entries will be submitted for the end of the year summer grand prize, a televised fishing trip for two with me, John Gillespie, sponsored by Baitmate Fish Attractants. For full contest details, visit Baitmate.com. Hey, congratulations, Karen Soderberg from Pennsylvania. She caught this beauty using her bait mate. Folks, I'll tell you what, we switched to musky fishing. We've gone a couple of hours without a bite, and all of a sudden we got a big old storm moving here. The wind is whipping up, and I guess if there's an opportunity for a fish to bite, we got the right conditions, right? Yeah, you'd sure think, think so, John. I mean, I just hope this one kind of misses us a little bit, but it doesn't feel like it right now. No, it's but... gone from calm <laughs> to heavy wind, and uh, hey, Pete, how you doing back there, buddy? Look at the wind, bring it on. How you doing back there? I'm doing good. I had to put my hat between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I think I got to turn the trolling motor up, Johnny. Kind of an interesting day. We had that weather roll through and now we got high skies. We actually lost about 10 degrees, so yeah. pretty good front. So what we're gonna do is troll open water. And when you do this, Pete, it's kind of fun because I can use the Lake Master chip here and stay right on the contour lines of the deep water that you want me to be in. What kind of baits do you use for this? Well, we can only use two lines out here right now, you know, in this part of Wisconsin. So we're gonna run one minnow bait like this. We'll run that a little higher, probably about 12 feet down and then we'll run one that'll get down a little bit deeper right underneath that kicker motor back there. So, so basin fishing, though, is can be really, really good late June, into July at all? Oh, yeah, John. A lot of fish are going to be out in this open water right now. Generally, they're going to be a little higher in the water column. You know, you don't, you don't have to go down. You can catch fish over 100 feet of water this time of the year, but you generally want to stay in the top 20. Rob, what do we got going, Rob? Oh, I think we got a fish. Pete's got a fish on. Yeah, you guys are right to do the trolling. Any size at all, Pete? Oh, look at Pete. All right. All right, buddy. 
How's it going there, Pete? Uh, we're almost there. This fish is... Oh, uh, here he comes, here he comes, here yeah. he comes. Oh, yeah, not a bad musky. Yeah, oh, musky in the boat. Man. There we go, guys. All right, <laughs> oh, way to go it. there. Hey, hey good, good call, man. <laughs> hey, seriously, though, that was a good call, wasn't it, to troll? Well, John, you know, when you're... You, we've, we've gone back and forth with different things, tried different things, and seeing nothing casting, so, you know, you got to try it. Well, fishing with both of you guys as many years as I have, you always look at June as a time when these fish are out in the deep basins a lot, right? Yeah, and they come out right away after the spawn, John. A lot of people think that they hang around in the spawning areas for a long time. When they're done spawning, the ones that like to be out in this open water, they go right on out. Are you proud? Oh, yeah, no, like we said, we were talking about it, you know, and bug hatch going on out here last night. And I said, maybe yeah, it's brought point. out walleyes and perch and bait fish. And I don't know, I think we were 10 minutes. Uh, I don't even know if we were 10 minutes trolling. Let's take a look <laughs> at this fish, guys. All right, Johnny. Let's take a look. Oh boy, I'll tell you what, for a, nice for, a, for a June fish, it's built really well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, what are those scars from you guys? That's spawning, yeah. That spawning scars? Oh, yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Nice chunky fish. Yeah. Wow. That's good. First muskie on the show this year. Wow. <laughs> yeah. First legal muskie on the show, over 32 anyway. Yeah. Nice job, you guys. That really is. And uh, good call, man. Uh, oh, tell the folks about the day, Rob. We had that storm move through. The high skies came and the temperature dropped about 10 degrees. We didn't see anything casting. Well, yeah. I mean, we started off, we walleye fished. We, we had a neat morning doing that. And we went and, you know, played upon a bite that should have been good and we were hoping you know we knew we had some weather coming I think we made the right decision but you know the front did nothing to it so we moved to get away from the weather and now we got the wind and you know we're just doing another we're not going to stop trolling now. oh no no and, we're going to we're going to troll at least another hour and then we'll cast right at prime time but remind the folks the illegal issues for trolling in wisconsin how many rods well up here in Vilas county you're allowed two lines max per boat no matter how many people you have i mean it's one line a person so if you're by yourself it's one line but if there's us three in the boat, we can still only have two lines. Okay. Which and is stupid. Well, yeah. Frankly, but then hopefully they're going to change that to where it's, it's one line for each person with a license. Yeah, it makes sense. But hey, you know what, though? At least we can forward troll now. <laughs> yeah. Years ago, we had to go backwards. I sure had a nasty experience putting the boat in this morning. The amount of mosquitoes that you guys have up here after all the rain in, in, in April, May, and June, it's its bad. Yeah, I know. So much water, John, they're hatching everywhere. And yeah, I mean, it's horrible. You get into any wooded area that's got water near you, you're going to get chewed up. Well, the best stuff that I use is the Coleman Insect Repellent. Coleman Insect Repellent, this is the sportsman's formula. Okay. And it has 40% DEET, but it does a great job, long-lasting, repelling not only mosquitoes but ticks too and, and this is going to be a banner year for mosquitoes yeah it, you know ticks have been bad mosquitoes are going to be bad and getting worse i mean it just doesn't stop raining and they just don't stop breeding so everybody at uh fibbers and the saint germain resort they use the coleman insect repellent it's on hand always Folks, I am really excited about this new Johnsonville product. We have flame grilled chicken breasts. No hormones in this meat, folks. It's never been frozen. This is really high quality stuff. Absolutely, John. They're hand trimmed chicken breasts, fully seasoned, ready to go. Put them in the microwave for one minute and there's your dinner. Healthiest treat I've ever seen. And they come in individual packages. So you open one package and put it in for 30 seconds. Exactly. Vent it, cook it in its individual packages and there it's marinating and getting all the delicious juices. Mm. Is that good? So moist and tender. Yeah, they are. And Tom, you can also eat those cold in a salad or a sandwich. Absolutely. They're great warm or cold. Johnsonville flame grilled chicken. I wasn't happy with the layout, the setup, the performance of the other boats that were out there. Each boat has its own little good thing and its own little bad thing. I tried to meld all of that together to make a boat that was as good as can be to satisfy everyone. We feel that Recon's better than other boats for performance, whole shot. Every boat is a custom order built specifically for the customer. Recon is priced typically much lower than the competitors and still keep the quality there and the performance there. I like to see the finished product, see it leave on a trailer ready for the water. The overall satisfaction of, of building a vehicle, building something people can enjoy, get out and fish in. Let us make this absolutely clear. 
the days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Well, folks, day two of our musky trip up to Vilas County. Uh, got cloudy skies today, kind of a chilly, damp morning, uh, you know, mid-60s, and I guess it's supposed to be 90 down in Chicago today. <laughs> but do uh, you like the conditions to start? I do. I wish we had a little less of this easterly wind, but, you know, it just feels better than it did yesterday. And, you know, two days of these kind of east winds, you know, hopefully uh, things will work out for our, our fishing today. Hey, here we go, folks. Look, hey, Pete, look at it. It's a little hey, musky. Yeah, there you go. I, I thought we had a pike, John, but it's a musky. Yeah, that's not, and that's not bad, buddy. It's the right species, baby. Hey, and we just started our day, folks. And uh, actually, that's about your fish. Fifth cast there, Pete. Well, Pete, okay. what do you think there, buddy? Well, I think that's a nice way to start. No, that's a good sign, man. That yeah. to me, that is. And that's a real pretty fish, about a 30 incher, huh? What was that on? Pop it out. That uh, it's a, one of those Livingston lures. A head hunter, it's called. Okay. If you could do a hold up real quick or not. I certainly can. Because I, you, folks, the coloring on those smaller fish to me is always spectacular, you know? Yeah, he's a cute little fella. Yeah, nice job though, Look Pete. At those teeth. Yeah, way to go, buddy. All right, they're biting today. Yay! Here we go, here we go, another musky. <laughs> Whatever he is, another musky. He whacked little, that bucktail. Not, not that big, but Well, a that's bigger. all right. Look at that, folks. He whacked that bucktail, man. Oh, whoa, there, whoa. Oh, there he Perfect. goes. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, folks, we've been on the water, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> and we got two fish, one and a half. No, that was cool, man. Did he just come up and smoke that yeah, thing, Yeah, he huh? hammered it. Well, this is really, you know, when you talk about musky fishing, weather conditions are so crucial. And, you know, last night we were fishing in the evening. It was a cold, damp east wind. Today you got a little more humidity in the air, the cloud cover. I think yep. that makes a difference. Yeah, we man. got several fronts moving through. It could be one of those days, you know. Yeah. <laughs> How big was that one? About 35, yeah. right? Yeah, that's all right. We got what we yeah, wanted. Yeah, no, good job, buddy. <laughs> Folks, it's time now to announce this. This week's winners of the Mills Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2017 Fishing Contest. Pete Olson of Boulder Junction caught this 20 inch smallmouth on the Manitowish River on a MEPS. Sam Noto of Frankfort, Illinois caught this 18 inch crappie on Lake of Four Seasons on a twister tail. Mark Bombach of Elmhurst, Illinois boated this 31 inch lake trout on Lake Geneva on a hair jig. Debbie Petrie of West Bend caught this 32 inch carp on the Fox River on on a flicker shad. And this week's kids winners are Houston Root of Green Bay caught this 21 inch smallmouth on Green Bay. Spencer Kane of Burnett, Wisconsin caught this 15 inch crappie on Shano Lake on a Euro worm. Our adult winners will receive a $25 Mills Fleet Farm gift card. Our kids winners of Plano Tackle Box. Remember folks, Mills Fleet Farm has everything you need for fishing, including snacks and your fishing license. Mills Fleet Farm is your fishing gear headquarters. Folks, I don't think it's a coincidence that everybody in this boat is throwing Seaguar Threadlock for muskies. What I notice about it is, boy, it, it casts further than anything I've used for musky line. What other qualities do you like, Pete? Well, John, it's actually a 16-strand hollow core, which is part of the reason it, it stays real round, sits on the spool nice, and that's the reason that you're getting the, the long casts out of it. Of course, it's got the, the lack of stretch, great feel, you know, good for hook sets and everything. Uh, I, I've been running the 80-pound uh, the and 100-pound mainly for casting and 130-pound for the quick strike rigs and suckers. There we go, fish, oh, oh, we got fish. fish, oh, it's a big fish, it's a big musky, it's a big musky, <laughs> look at that musky, look and at that musky. for hook sets, oh, right, Pete? Nice job there, Rob, nice hook set, buddy. Whoa. Oh, that is a Jim Dandarino. <laughs> nice job there, Rob. Get that frable. Get that frable. All right. I got the frable. We were just talking about that cigar line. 
<laughs> and Rob pops a muscalunjo. Oh, yeah, he did a good job there, man. Holy cow. He's going backwards. Nice job. Hey, 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 guys. It's scruffy. And, 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 and I, I guess that uh, the cigar line works good on hook sets, too. He just saw the hook sets. I know. Nice job there, pal. Perfect timing, buddy. No, nice. What, what happened on the hit on that one? Oh, he just pounded that bar fighter. I just switched to a jerk bait, and actually that was the second cast with it. And that's uh, the, our little buddy that we talked about that we've caught so many How times. How many times have you caught this fish out here? First time this year. First time this year, but in the past, you, and you can recognize them by what? Well, just, well, well when, yeah. we when we show them, we, uh, we'll show how you recognize them. Well, let's take a look, Rob. How many times have you <laughs> caught this fish now over the years? Uh, quite a few. I mean, it's just funny. I can show you pictures and these marks on them and that tail are unmistakable but that's just quite funny. Always, always in the same spot? Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, that was exciting. I mean, really, when you and I are filming a cigar tip and Rob yells, fish on, fish on, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, to be doing a cigar tip and to have just mentioned, and it's great for hook sets, and literally <laughs> a split second after that, Rob, whop. Hey, man, I'll tell you, these fish are moving today. I'd be surprised if we, of course, the sun seems to be popping out. That might change. Change, but I'd be yeah. surprised if we we don't get another fish. Yeah, unfortunately things can change, but it's been been really good. And if the weather holds like this, we should continue to see some fish. And most of them have been biting. Yeah. So. Rob Manthai guides all of Vilas County on a daily basis. For more info, give Rob a call. That phone number is 715-477-2042. 477-2042. Hey folks, the Stingray cutting tool is the most convenient and sharpest tool I've ever had in the boat. 30 pound braid, look at that man, like butter. And you can also trim with this two piece? Yeah, you can trim tight to tight to jigs, lures, and just, you know, it'll, it'll actually take the knot off. And again, it'll be, you know, your mono, your floral, whatever it is. And on up to my 130 pound test musky line, it's gonna slice it like butter. And we never have to say, Hey, Ryan, get the knife. Yeah, get the knife, Ryan. When it's time to tackle any outdoor-related project or job, your Polar Trailer Cart is the perfect teammate. Polar Trailers and Carts are designed for easy assembly, and each model is rigorously tested to ensure uncommon durability. On an all-steel tubular frame with a powder coat finish, its body is made of HDPE, which is far superior to its competitors. Polar Trailers aren't just for projects around the house or farm. They also work great for hauling deer stands, food plot seed, or the trophy of a lifetime. If you fish, chances are you've used a must-add hook. That's all we use. Come on, get him in there. Army tank, Daredale. Oh, there is the big boy. I mean, I just can't believe this, folks. Oh, let's see him, yeah. buddy. Look at that. <laughs> that 10 yeah. seconds, though, makes a big difference, buddy. Well, that one is a gorgeous fish. Is that pushing three? That's three. We're going to weigh it. Must have the world's largest manufacturer of fishing hooks. Get the point? We did. Well, folks, the rain is here and the lightning and the thunder is coming, uh, so we're going to get off the water. But one thing I want to mention, I think the fishing headquarters of Vilas County is the St. Germain Lodge and Fibber's Restaurant. And the cool thing is, if folks, you want to come up in July and August, you do have openings for families, right? Yeah, we that time of the year, John, we've got a few weeks here and there, cabins, hotel rooms, and we've got a great full-service restaurant, uh, you know, boat rentals, pontoons, kayaks, everything that you need. My favorite hangout you know that right <laughs> yes hey, right. good time folks Thanks. that is our show for today please join us next week i don't know where we're gonna fish we'll find a place somewhere until then i'm john gillespie hoping to see you enjoying john gillespie's waters and woods